I want a llama. Do you want a llama? Llama, 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 llama. Welcome back to the Monday show. Starting it off with llamas this week for some reason. It's what came to my brain. There's also llamas later on the episode, so stay tuned for that. Woo! It's Monday, May 25th, 2020, and we're back! Starting it off, as usual, with some motivational quotes. Yeah, motivational is a word. I thought I made up a word there for a second with some extra letters on the end of motivation, but it was a real word, in fact. So let's do it! Motivational quote this week comes from Mr. Abraham Lincoln, the guy with the hat. And he was the president. The 15th one, I believe. It was the 16th. I don't remember. Whatever you are, be a good one. Thank you, Mr. Lincoln. That's a good thing to remember. Whatever you are, be a good one. You're a doctor, be a good doctor. You're a person, be a good person. You're a dad, be a good dad. You're a pig, be a good pig. Not like... I was talking about the animal, not like a person. If you are a pig of a person... Maybe, maybe you can... Moving on. It's... <laughs> this week, the segment where we find out what we get to celebrate this week. Seven days of celebration starting off today. Monday, May 25th. It's National Tap Dance Day. Do a little... Just like that. That's what tap dancing sounds like. There's not a wood floor and I don't have tappy shoes on right now, so I had to make the sound effects with my mouth. But, you know... That's the thing. So, even if you don't know how to tap dance, I think there's a lot of hands involved, and then you'd, like, kick the ground a bunch of times and make noise. Can't be that hard. The 26th, tomorrow, Tuesday, is National Paper Airplane Day. You take a piece of... Oh, my hat hit the pen over here. You take a piece of paper and you go... Like, this, like so. Like so. Like so. Give it another whoop. This is a Monday show wrap, by the way, that I'm currently turning into a paper airplane. Also, the memo from last episode. So, uh, the IMDP... The IMDP... I can't say IMDB. IMDP... Oh, God. That's how you make a paper airplane. To, uh, to, to Wednesday, the 27th, is National Great Popsicle Day. You can have any flavor you want, but... Wednesday, you have to have grape. You can have something like a, a cherry with the grape, but grape has to be there. The 28th is National Brisket Day and or National Hamburger Day. You could have both. I would like to have both. Don't know about you. The 29th, which is Friday, is National Paperclip Day. You know the, uh, the, the, the metal thing that holds papers together? Celebrate it somehow. You could make like a... Uh... uh Lockpick. The 30th, Saturday, is National Creativity Day, which I've just displayed excellently with a lockpick, is what you can make out of a paperclip. You can be more creative than that if you'd like. And the 31st, Sunday, the last day of May, is Smile Day, National Smile Day. So smile. You could do that all seven days if you'd like. I'll allow that. Maybe even all 360 however many days we have this year. You just smile. A little one of those will go a long way. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, guess what? That only works if you throw the apple at the doctor. The smile is the real thing. If you smile after you throw the apple, they think you're crazy. And then it's a different kind of doctor you have to deal with. But the, the original doctor is gone. Fun facts. We are going to educate you just a little bit for fun facts for four fun people. Actually, all of you can... Number one, the llamas are back. Llamas can be used as guards against coyotes. Against, I guess they guard sheep herds. Uh, studies have proven that just one guard llama is an effective protector and can even kill an attacking coyote. Llamas are deadly. They'll get you. They'll wind up for a spit and go... And it'll go right through your brain. I spit a lot on the table just now. But it'll just <laughs> blow your head out. Fact number two. During World War II, a U.S. naval destroyer won a battle against a Japanese submarine by throwing potatoes at them. The Japanese thought they were grenades. Good old potato. 
You got llama spit and you got potatoes. That's all you need to win a war. Right there. Got the llamas winding up, getting ready to spit. You got potato in your hand and the other side's like, we don't, no, wave the white flag. We don't want it. That's all you need. Fact number three, even though Irish is the official language of Ireland, Polish is more widely spoken. The fact doesn't say if that Polish is more widely spoken in Ireland or not, but I assume. And number four, the Burj Khalifa. That's a big old tall tower. It's so tall that you can see two sunsets in one day. If you watch the sunset on the actual ground, where people stand usually, like the earth part, and then you go whoosh, up to the top of the tower, you can then watch the sunset again, because you can get up so fast that the sun is, you can see more. Know what I'm saying? It's like the tower, it's, it's a big tower. This is a small tower, but this make look big tower. Know what I'm saying? Now we move on to... The segment where I find out a little about my now we move on to the segment where I find out a little bit about myself and you can figure out a little bit about yourself. Fact number one: I can't speak English. Who am I? Is the segment that we're currently working towards this week? What TV show am I? People have been watching so much TV recently. Some quarantines have been lifted. Some haven't. Maybe all of them at this point. I don't know. Uh, but there's been a whole lot of TV been watched recently. So I figured I, I'd figure out which one I was. And then find out that I was some disgusting TV show that got canceled after like three episodes. And it can go in the pile with Dolores Umbridge and spinach. So let's go on over there. All right, we're back to our old friends, BuzzFeed. They don't sponsor me, but they are a friend because I've used their quizzes before. And we have what type of TV show are you is your life? So maybe not a specific one, but we'll get a type. What is your life goal to get 15 minutes of fame, to be respected, to win? You're not here to make friends, to be loved by a few people, to be popular, or to be in the perfect relationship. I'd like to be respected. I think that would be good. Where, ideally, would you show... Would you show do, 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 still can't speak. Where, ideally, would your show be set? In important meetings. An amazing apartment. The streets. The suburbs. High school. Or New York. And then LA. And then Miami. And then... We're going with that one. I like it. All over the place. Amazing race. Pick a network. You got NBC, Bravo, Fox, HBO, The CW, or E. I'm going to go with NBC. No bias of anything. I just like, they got The Office. They got Parks and Rec. They got uh, Superstore is on NBC. They've got uh, other things. NBC. Choose a dream job. Architect, writer, actor, chef, detective. You can't make me choose. I'll go with you can't I'm gonna be all of them every set I'm gonna be a, a writing architect that's also acting as a chef in a detective movie can't stop me how long do you want your show to last long enough for people to get sick of it exactly as long as it needs to do spinoffs count question mark a bunch of seasons but with a different cat community that was the other one I was trying to think of on NBC Anyway, a bunch of seasons, but with different casts every time. You'll be lucky to finish the season, oh, you'll, to be honest. And as long as it's profitable. Ooh, ooh, how long do I want it to blast? I mean, it's. I'm, I'm lucky to get one season out of it. What would friends say your biggest flaw is? You're too serious, obviously. You're an elitist, double obviously. You never take risks. You're fake. This can't be faked. You're too competitive. I've never wanted to win anything in my life. And you're never serious. Well, sorry. That, that might be the one. Um, how would you describe your life? A little cliche, but it's... It, but in a, a little cliche, but in a good way. Dark. 
quirky, wacky, dependable, or so much drama. I'm going to go with uh, wacky. No, quirky. No, mm, what's the difference? Quirky. Quirky. Pick a celebrity BFF. We got Padma Lakshmi. That's how you say that, probably. Kim Kardashian. Maris Mariska. Ha yep. Neil Patrick Harris, Blake Lively, or Seth MacFarlane. Only his voice. I'm going to take Neil Patrick Harris, please. What did I get? Oh, I'm a clinically... <laughs> I'm a critically acclaimed comedy with low ratings. You're smart, innovative, and just altogether fantastic. Sure, some people won't get you. Most people, even. But the people who do will really, really love you. And that's what's important. Oh, my goodness, there's the community. Oh, I didn't see the mmm right there. It's community. Uh, well, that and six seasons and a movie. Hashtag. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of community recently, actually. Love that show. And that's what I got. So I am a critically acclaimed comedy with low ratings. Let's go put that on the list. Big old freaking mouthful to hit through. So I'm a crit. Is it one T? Critically acclaimed comedy. I can spell probably. We're going to do the W slash sign just to save room. Because we can't go to a second line. None of them do. Let's see what that's joining on the list. We got Boston Group Donut, July Sunshine, String Cheese, Where's My Mind by the Pixies, Cauliflower, Basketball, Pecans, Lips, Forest Gump, The Movie, Not the Person, Fruity Ice Cream, French Bulldog, Spinach, The Pizza Topping, Assorted Pasta, and a Waffle Cone, Herbivore Pick, Piano, McDonald's, Boysenberry, Dolores, Sunbridge, Beer, Popcorn. This is usually when I breathe, but I ran out of breath early. Baseball Cap, Pecan, Not Pelican Pie, Carbon, Cuz Life, The 1967, Corvette Convertible from Chevy, uh, Sprite, and the critically acclaimed comedy with low ratings that's what we got that's who i am if you were ever wondering there's the list for you well sorry there's the list for you i figured out how cameras work long time ago not just right now all right let's get back to big face me and we'll uh, finish off the show okay no dancing not time for dancing we do that after the show first we gotta give you the do some stuff, because that's how we finish off every show. We give you something to do. And it's usually stuff. Uh, this week's do some stuff. Do something creative. And don't forget to smile. If you forget to smile, you've lost two points. Only two. I didn't want to be too harsh. Um, hopefully you've gained some bonus points at this point, And are up points so you can lose a few. But if you don't forget to smile... You don't lose any points. But be creative about it. Like, if you start to... You're, like, starting to forget to smile. You're going like this. You gotta go... Oh! Hey! How's it going? Like, distract them from the spat. Dist I can't speak English. Come to me. Okay. We're back. My brain works again. Maybe. If you forget to smile... You gotta draw the attention away from the fact that you forgot to smile. So, like, smack your head into the table or something. Or, like, like act like you're gonna sneeze. Be like, hey! <laughs> Just like that. And you've done it. Don't forget to smile. Be creative. That's all you need to know. Thank you for watching this episode of The Monday Show. Come back next week. We're into June... We're moving on through the year. Uh, nothing's happened yet this year, but hey. We're moving on through it. We're this much closer to 2020, which could be better than 20. Uh, we are in 2020, so we're actually that much closer to 2020. We're this much closer to 2021. I don't know what year it is. I don't know what day it is usually now, so that's besides the point. But yeah, we did it. Monday show. Llamas.